Namaste, beautiful brothers and sisters. How is it all going? I've got inspired to make a quick live video. It's not going to be a long one. But um, I just actually even did put a message up on Facebook. Can you believe it? To let everyone know. So I'll see if uh, anyone from Facebook... I don't know if I'm on Facebook or anything, uh, You never know. Ashley, can you, can you share this, guys? You know that little pointy thing down the bottom? Just share it. And then people will get to see it and comment. If you comment and interact and wave and do you know what I mean? Then it'll be like, oh, Instagram, oh, this is all happening. Like Jen's talking, let's get loads of people there. But if you just all sit there and go into a trance, go, oh my God, then this doesn't, this doesn't help. So like wave, interact, share it, save it. Um, because we're in a spiritual, you know what? And like, we're up against big tech. Like That's what's going on, do you know what I mean? And um, the only way we can... Um, do do this thing is by coming together and by collapsing the algorithms and the way that we collapse the algorithms is that we engage and when we engage it sends out messages to the system that um this is this is valuable content and let's show it to people and blah 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 like boring crap we don't want to be talking about that but um but anyway you know th this will help so got three people three people oh my golly gosh the reason i did that i did that one on fb a couple of weeks ago I did a live and then the next day i got flipping banned for um was that a 30 day i don't know anyway so i'm not i'm not taking risks with doing lives on facebook at the moment um anyway I'll, I'll upload this onto my Instagram, onto my YouTube, and I'll upload it onto my um, thing with I'm just going to tell everyone on Facebook that I'm actually live. Can you tell people on Facebook that I'm live, guys? This really important message I'm about to bring through. I'm live. In fact, I'm, what I'm going to do is I'm going to put up my Instagram thing with jigs. What do you call it? I don't know what you call it. Profile. Right then. How's it going? How's it going? So anyway, I'm making this video today because I want to talk about the miracle vibration and I want to talk about how do we activate the miracle vibration. This seems to be the hot topic at the moment. Um, do you know what I mean? Like, what is the miracle vibration? How do we activate the miracle vibration? What on God's great earth even is the miracle vibration? So to me... So this is all connected. What happened was, um, you know, I'm working with Melanie, I'm working with Ang Harad Sage, who I'm doing a live video with on YouTube tomorrow at 8.30. I'm working with um, Amanda Francis, I'm, I'm working with Harv Eker, I'm working with all these like manifestation coaches, wealth coaches, and uh, I'm really, really deeply immersing myself in this conversation about manifestation mastery. And I'm surrounding myself, I mean, I've been, I've been um, very, very fascinated by this subject for the last 25 years. I, I, I've been on, on this sort of like path of, of, of mastery around this, but I feel like I've manifested now like the next level caliber, like really, really high caliber mentors that are holding that frequency, are embodied in that frequency of, of, of manifestational powers. So um, I feel like I'm very, very deeply immersed in this, in this paradigm of, of remembrance at the moment. And so because of that, I'm, I was guided by my spirit team last night to bring through a... Um, an oracle deck, a tarot deck, that will basically, um, it, well, it's very, it, it's multifaceted. Essentially, the tarot deck is working with the light codes that I've brought through. You've all seen my light codes. But there's like going to be affirmations on the side, on the other side of the uh, deck. And basically, they're going to have sort of like imprints for the subconscious mind. So the whole idea is to imprint the subconscious, the subconscious mind with the upgraded embodiment codes. Because how we manifest is, is that we, we become an embodiment of that which we want to experience. So... Basically, what I'm learning is that, or what I'm remembering, because we're never learning anything on a spiritual path, brothers and sisters, we're God incarnated. And so it's just, we just forget, we're in the veil of forgetfulness. And so we're on this journey to like eternally remember, do you know what I mean? So I'm not a teacher, I, I, that would be just so arrogant. Oh yeah, I'm, I'm just gonna teach God everything, do you know what I mean? I'm just a reminder, my job is literally just a reminder and a, a mirror, do you know what I mean? Anyway, so to activate the miracle vibration, what I'm what I'm remembering is that it, it's very much tied into 
our understanding of the quantum field. What even is the quantum field? Well, my understanding of the quantum field is the multidimensional timeline reality that exists beyond the third dimensional matrix, that we as multidimensional avatar beings, our consciousness is calibrated to all these higher dimensional timelines and realities. And so when we break out of the spell of the third dimension and open up to the truth that we are an eternal multidimensional beings, then our consciousness like sort of like connects with and is and, and becomes one to a certain extent with the quantum field with the multi, multiple dimensional realms of consciousness in that moment when that happens you understand that the imagination is 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 calibrated to not really understand the difference between that which you experience and that which you visualize and, and that which you tell it or that which you experience with your imagination so in one's awakening into the quantum field we realize that there are all these infinite possibilities that are available to us and essentially our consciousness is like a fishing rod and so if you want to manifest a 100k a month if you want to manifest your twin flame if you want to manifest a dream house if you want to manifest a dream car whatever it is then your they exist within the quantum field and those um, desires very very sacred have been placed there by your higher self and a part of your of the manifestation of your destiny and so what we have to realize is that there are all these strings that are attaching us in the quantum realm to our heart's desires and um, and so how we become the miracle vibration is that we, we, we drop our fixation with the third dimensional matrix. We completely and utterly realize that we've you know this is a lie this is a this is a fabricated lie you know they've tried to say all this nonsense about limitations and, and, and aging and life and death and and illness and it's all just a holographic projection by the controllers the the truth is is that we are eternal divine beings and we are we are created to coexist in these vessels for as long as we uh, choose to be and so our consciousness is automatically connected with infinity and uh, infinite potential and infinite timelines and infinite cr creation so to access the miracle vibration you have to loosen your grip with the third dimensional matrix and you have to understand that you are a multi-dimensional being and that you are empowered guys is anyone commenting remember what i said at the beginning i was like if this is touching us we've got a comment because otherwise this is hidden from from facebook so it, you can just kind of comment along going, oh wow jen oh yeah i thought that yeah that, yeah i agree with you yeah yeah it just it really really helps um, to get the message out so anyway to activate the miracle vibration what we do is i'm empowered what we do is we um we loosen our fixation to the third dimensional fear-based um, limitation matrix. And then once we collapse that, once we know that that is, that is not all powerful, that's just a construct of the old controllers, um, then we're in the vibration. <laughs> so when you're in the miracle vibration, you remember your quantum powers, you remember the fact that you are an avatar soul, you remember that you have the ability to pull through from the quantum field anything which your soul desires. <laughs> I didn't paint that one, no, my friend Yvonne painted that one. Your twin flame book chapter four already activated on my prior self, thank you. Who is Island Clark? That's the thing about um, Instagram, you don't know who on God's great earth anyone is. Who's Island Clark? I'm going to read you some of my book. I'm, going to, I'm just going to, I'm literally going to pull through a random paragraph like that. He wants to hear it, so this is like hot off the press. I'm going to create this tarot deck. Hi, Jen. Hi, Stacey. What do you mean? Who? What's your name, Island Clark? Is it Sheila? Is it Linda? Is it? Is it Jasmine? Is it Vanessa? What's your name? Anyway, because obviously I know you on Facebook as a completely different person from Island Clark. Oh, really? Your name is Island? Oh, my good God. Sorry. There you go. <laughs> Please forgive me. All right. Anyway, listen, guys, moving onwards. Do you not know me from Facebook then, Island Clark? Because I think you're the only person on my whole entire Instagram that doesn't know me from Facebook. 
anyway I'm gonna pull I'm gonna pull through a, a um, I'm gonna pull through a paragraph right you ready guys take a deep breath I've just finished reading the book and I work with my higher self to transform the energies of need and lack upon your guidance. I'm so grateful. <laughs> That's wonderful, sunglory.ms. That's hilarious, Island Clark. You just found me. <laughs> All right, guys, you ready? Take a deep breath. It's coming. This is, this is just a random, but it's connected to what we were just talking about. But this is me having written it in the book. It is so important for us all to remember that we live in a quantum universe and every single thing that you desire, you are connected to by string. Therefore, for you to pull through that which you wish to experience from the quantum realm, you need to build and empower that string. When you first become physically aware of the string that attaches you to all of your heart's desires in the quantum realm, it could be understood that the string is somewhat translucent. It is then your job to empower that string and take it out of its translucent state into its solid form. One thing, one thing that will destroy the string that attaches you to all of your heart's desires in the quantum realm is doubt. If you show up in the vibration of doubt, the string that connects you to that desire will become invisible. However, if you are lucky enough for God to present you, present to you a sacred desire of your soul, and you in that moment observe the string that connects you to it and you view it with excitement and faith please know that this is the way to bring it out of the unseen realm into the seen realm the way to empower the string is to embody the vibration of the desire you wish to manifest and show up in the world as she or he who has already or is already experiencing the manifestation of that desire so ask yourself, how would I show up as one who has manifested my heart's desire? You would show up in gratitude, in deep, deep gratitude. You would show up in prayer on your knees saying, thank you, God, thank you. I have faith and I believed. This is how you empower the string. When you show up like this, you send kryptonite to the string that connects you to the sacred desires of your heart. And the more that you can stand in that vibration, regardless of what is being presented to you at the third dimensional level, you deeply empower that string to become solid and strong and to start appearing in your reality as direct experience. What do you reckon, guys? How's that? This resonates. I thought that was like a, one of the most powerful gifts you could ever get from your higher self. Wrapped up in this beautiful, beautiful box and presented. That's what that's to me. That, that is what it is to me. I am such an avid student of manifestation or a member of manifestation that um, if I read that, I'd, I'd, I don't know, I think I'd take off into the high time dimension. I have a question, Jen. Everyone said close the timeline. Can you tell how to close the timeline? It's not really closing a timeline, it's collapsing a timeline. So, right, a timeline is based upon your attention and your intention. So whatever it is that you believe is going to be the timeline, your experience that you're going to experience, okay? So most people have quite fixed beliefs, which means that most timelines are quite fixed. So you've got a certain timeline, you're on that timeline, and that's what's going on, right? Now, say for example, that timeline, that belief has come from lack, or it has come from fear, or it's come from, from, from that, that vibration. Then what happens is, is that you have a spiritual upgrade and you activate your higher self, and then you start downloading like faith codes, truth codes, oneness codes, and then suddenly your vibration like raises and then, and then suddenly you start like thinking, no, oh, oh my God, actually, I have faith. I have faith that, that God is sending me all my heart's desires. I have faith that um, everything that I've prayed for is, 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 is already in my psychic field. So when you create a new timeline, when you are focused on a new timeline, that automatically collapses the old timeline. 
because the timelines they can't function they can't coexist it's like we're on timelines depending on our attention and intention so when you place your attention on a higher timeline it causes that timeline to just simply collapse so you don't necessarily close it it just becomes defunct if you like so i hope that makes sense so it's the same with the golden age timeline it's like we're not closing necessarily the 3d timeline what we're doing is we're focusing on the the joy and the energy and the being of the new earth timeline and so as we embody the new earth codes then that causes the lower timeline to collapse that's it Sound is kind of hard to hear, you're almost like a fan. Oh, sorry, hon, that's my computer. Thank you for saying that. Oh, gosh, it's because um, it's up on, it was on my computer, and my computer's, what are you going to do? I've got nowhere to put it. Okay, can you hear me now? Every day I'm ignoring the external. I'm a child again in my imagination. That's how you come to the zero point. So the, the, the essence of the zero point field is the, the child vibration. It's the innocent vibration. If you want to become one with the, the zero point field, then you drop the monkey mind. You drop your obsession and your addiction to the monkey mind. And you just, you know, drop into presence and, you know, just be present and show up in your presence and don't get so lost in the complexity and heavy heaviness of the mind um and then the less that you do that you connect with the the child and then it's the child frequency that gets you through the door into the zero point and that's i think why i got through the door of the zero point was because of something to do with the child thing um and and i have a very very specific and unique role with children um, when the minute I woke up, the first thing I knew that was my main, my main work was to be with children because I always felt, I and I deeply feel that children are, are so at one with source energy and then they are incarnated into this world with unenlightened parents and an unenlightened system that they really, really deserve to have like a fully, fully awakened person in their reality as an adult to to reflect that that bliss vibration, that innocent vibration, that godly vibration, that heavenly vibration back to them. Children deserve that. So God was like, you know, really, really wanting to put me, put me in a place where I was going to be surrounded by a lot of children. Um... And that necessarily hasn't necessarily happened yet, um, but I have a profound connection with children, and all all the time, whenever I meet children, I we have we fall in love. Whoever, whatever child I meet, I I we we have a, a meeting. It's a real, real, real deep soul meeting, and because children, they can tell, they can really tell. Do you know what I mean? They they know that you're safe. They know that your heart is just absolutely filled with love and. Um, that your only desire is is truly really to serve them and they know that so so i think that my connection with children and i don't know what it was i think i'm a i'm a highly intelligent person and i think if you're a highly intelligent person you are connected to the shamanic ways to to break through how do you break through to to the zero point from out of the 3d matrix into the into the zero point you need to have you need to hold the frequency of the child and so I was intelligent enough to realise that. And so I was like, oh, mind, my, my, my ego is not my amigo. I'm not giving power to that. And then the less power I gave to my mind, the more I empowered that state of presence and that, and that childlike, innocent vibration within. Oh, that's lovely, you carry. I have a strong desire to work with children as well, yeah. How, how are we to help the children? Well, how, how I, I help the children is by, I hold my solid vibration of being anchored in love and power and strength and presence. And so when they meet me, they, they can anchor into my field, they can anchor into my vibration and they can really, really, really deeply relax. And this is just a natural, just like an instant sort of like telepathic exchange that happens, but, but, this, but this is what happens. 
and I give them attention, I listen, I validate, I, I agree, I like, yeah, I validate, I get on their level and I validate them and it, it, I stand as a beacon of sunshine in their day, do you know what I mean? And, and that's how I serve children, I show up in my full presence Hey, Sister Lizzie. Hi, Lizzie, darling. Hi, beautiful. Yeah, so... And, yeah, being a mother has been has been an exceptional journey for me and it's been very real and very difficult as well and very challenging but, but extremely rewarding and extremely heartbreaking and how much your heart breaks open in love for your child. I don't think anyone can prepare you for that. Um, but yeah, it's been everything. So how do we activate the miracle vibration? That is the purpose of this call. So I talked about the fact that we have to awaken from the third dimensional matrix and we have to activate, access the quantum field. And we do that through, through, well, watch the beginning of the video. I'll go into great depth about how we do that. So I'm not going to repeat myself. If you're just jumping on now, watch the beginning. It's, it's very high level information. But what I will say is we'll talk about more ways of how to activate the miracle vibration. I think we activate the miracle vibration when we come to vibrational balance within our own masculine and feminine energies. And so that means that we're calibrated to a level of magnetism, a high level of magnetism, and working on our magnetic codes. And also we're calibrated to a balanced level of taking action in the world and showing up showing up in a, in um in a way that will look benefit our future self and and taking actions in accordance with um the, the manifestation of our heart's desires so i think if we can show up in that in that balanced vibration then we definitely activate the miracle vibration definitely that's like you're playing with alchemy you're playing with the the secret kind of like codes of of the universe Essentially, we activate the miracle vibration by understanding that this is a vibrational universe and we are all individualized transmitters. And so therefore, in order for us to experience our heart's desires, we have to adjust our individual transmitter to, to vibrate at the frequency of our heart's desires. So say, for example, you want to marry your twin flame. You have to take control to a certain extent of your individual radio transmitter self and you need to adjust it so that when you wake up in the morning, you get out of bed as she who is married to her divine masculine or her twin flame. What would you dress like? How would you show up? What would you wear perfume? Would you have beautiful flowers around you? Where would you go for breakfast? Take yourself out somewhere beautiful for breakfast. Would you maybe go and buy some new shoes? Would you go, uh, whatever it is, when you're walking down the street, giving thanks, giving thanks, embodying the vibration of she who has manifested her twin flame. And so essentially you are saying to the universe, this is who I am and this is how I am showing up. And then because this is a vibrational universe and because your access, you have access to the f entire quantum field, then you're, as you're going around in that vibration, you're then catching that, that um, blueprint in the quantum field that matches your vibration and then there's like this beautiful beautiful marriage occurs and this is where the string the string becomes empowered and then we hold that string and we because when we first connect to the quantum field it's quite translucent that string that connects us to our heart's desires but as we hold on as we you know you know commit to it and we take it out of its translucent state into its much more solid state um then and we become one with that vibration then we're then we're in the miracle vibration so there you go guys that's uh words of wisdom from jen it's all coming from my new book and uh yeah i highly re recommend watching this uh the beginning of this video it's really really good so i think that's about it um a few announcements are the transmission that's going to be amazing this is all to do with um, us opening up our own nadis within our own cellular structure to hold the codes and the frequencies for the golden age. It's a very, very, very powerful embodiment uh, transmission. 
and it will be an upgrade of the highest order. We're going to be working in the chambers of Egypt and um, we're going to be working on opening up these golden gates within us. So every single one of us that show up for this transmission is, also, is going to have an upgrade of the most the highest order. Um, we're going to also be doing the big clearing with the, with the media. We're going to correct the media situation. Um, loads of things. It's going to be amazing, guys, isn't it? The energies are building up. I'm going to be launching. So great to catch you live. Appreciate you, Sister Goddess. Thank you, darling. Also, I'm going to be doing a free month. I'm going to do a three-day masterclass, Wealth, Consciousness and Spirituality Masterclass. And um, I might even do it in a Facebook group, guys. And um, so I'm going to let, let you all know about that because it's really, really important that we're having this conversation. Like, why on God's great earth am I suddenly speaking about wealth, consciousness and spirituality? Like, there is a very, very, very important cosmic reason for this. And um, I need my community to really jump on board and get on board with, with why this is it's so important now, particularly for the Divine Feminine to step up and to start levelling up with her true value, her true worth and her true income. And her income is connected to her spirituality. Believe it or not, it's all connected because we live in a quantum universe. You, you are here to have whatever you desire, whatever, 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 whatever. You are here to experience that. If it's not going to harm anyone, which of course it's not, you're here to experience that. So this is all part of the ascension. This is all part of the empowerment like the uh, and the up leveling of us as we move into new earth. So I'm going to do a three day masterclass. That's going to be amazing. I'm going to announce that. Um, I'm going to be doing also um, a full moon and new moon manifestation masterclass. So um, basically what I'm going to do is that I'm going, going to bring everyone together and we're going to talk in like at the highest level about the deepest mysteries about manifestation. It's going to be like a high level masterclass. And then we're all going to set our intentions in the field and we're all going to come together and hold the vision and hold hold the the knowing, the gnosis of, of the, that vision for, for all of our brothers and sisters. Very, very powerful. So I'm going to be launching that soon. If anyone uh, wants to get on the pre-book list for that, please email me. And I'm going to be offering everyone on the pre-book list a very significant discount, as I always do, um, because I, I found that that's, that's the best way for me to um, attract all the people that are really, really committed to do the work. So if you're hearing the call and you want to be um, part of this manifestation um, masterclasses, like very high level masterclass, then please email me. Um, what was the other thing? Oh, I think that was it. I think that was all my announcements, guys. Um, so I've got the free masterclass. I can't remember. Anyway, there's lots going on. I'm really, I'm really, really up leveling. Like since, since that whole kind of like golden age timeline moment, I've really gone through a major, major enlightenment portal, guys. And I'm sure you can all tell. And I, I know like the last three Zooms that I've done have just been life changing for me. And there, there's all there's been this kind of like energy that's come through that has been so bonding and so like gluing us together that it's been really difficult to jump off all the calls and that's because the energy is so powerful of this transmission that's coming through now so yeah and, and i'm sure you can all feel it in my in my little lives anyway but in the in you know in these very very sort of private containers it's a completely different journey because i get to connect with everyone individually it's amazing all right, guys, well, that's my message. So thank you all for sharing this. Thank you all for engaging. Thank you all for commenting. Thank you for saving it. Thank you for coming together to, um, you know, come up against the, you know, big, big tech and all their whatevers is that we have to support each other. And thank you for awakening to that and, um, you know, really, really getting behind sharing and take a leaf out of you, Carrie's book. She shares so much. She's amazing. I felt that too. Thank you. What did you feel, hon? Yeah, you probably, I think you're talking about in the container. Yeah, it's a different journey. It's a whole kettle of fish in the container. I guess these are just introductions to working with me, aren't they, really? So anyway, that's it, guys. I'm really, really excited, and I'm so excited. Like, every single day now, like, it, the energy shift is feet, yeah. It, I don't know, but I, I, I wake up, since I've had that upgrade, I wake up in a totally different state of consciousness i wake up every single i can't sleep for a start i'm like i'm so excited about my life i can't I, i'm finding it a bit tricky to sleep sometimes 
and then I, for the, do, the nights where I do get a good night's sleep, I wake up and I just bounce out of bed and I am so excited to go through the day living in the vibration of, of my, my dreams having already have manifested. It is such an extraordinary experience to be in that flow. And um, yeah, I highly recommend it. So I, I guess... I guess, you know, I, I've been really studying this for so long. I'm at a certain level and I guess I'm creating this book and this manual and these tarot decks, which is going to get you to the same level where I am. That's the idea. So that we all become master manifestors. That's the one, isn't it? It's all part of the golden age. It's all part of the upgrade. So that's my message, brothers and sisters. So I love you all. Thank you so much for watching. And I'm sorry about the fan noise. I, I do apologise for that. And I hope it wasn't too, it was just maybe another distortion or I don't know. Anyway, let's, I'll, I'll play it back and see. But thank you all so much for watching. God bless us all. Mwah.